All right, I want to spend a few more minutes looking at some of the features of the editing suite. So first things first, let's go up into the upper left-hand corner, look at the source, and you'll see that up here under source, I have the video clip. We've already looked at how I can scrub through the timeline here. And it shows me the, 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 the amount of time and the playback position. I can choose to fit or I can zoom in or out on that clip. And then I can choose how I view the content up in the top. If I move over from there, there's a little tab there and I can dock or close these panels. Next over is effects controls. And so I can apply effects to a clip from here. And then over from that is the audio clip mixer where I can modify or edit the audio. And then also there's a, a process for a place for mo uh, modifying the metadata. And Lumetri sc Scopes is a way of looking at the color, the modifying and editing the color in the image. And that's all under that one section. Let's go over to our master sequence. You'll see that in each sec section there's a little uh, a little pancake that allows me to modify this. And once again, I can look at this different ways. I can choose to fit, or I can look at it at 75% or 200%. Usually you'll probably just want it to fit on screen when you're modifying or editing, but I can look at this different ways. And then we went through the fact that I can set in and out points on here. Um, and then I can also play through my clip with the play button. Now let's go down to the timeline. Let's spend a little bit more time down here in the timeline. First of all, we have the scrubber that allows us to scrub through our uh, movie. And then um, I have some buttons here that allow me to modify the way my, my uh, timeline is organized. And then down here, uh, I want to look at some of these options here. I have a, uh, a toggle track, which can make the track visible or invisible. I can lock or unlock the track, usually, unless there's a certain reason, you'll probably leave it locked for many ops, uh, reasons. I can uh, track lock that, I can lock that track. Notice it says V1, there's only one video layer in here. I can add multiple video layers. Then you'll see A1, A2, A3 in this case means that there's three audio layers. Once again, I can mute the audio layer if I want to. The audio layer is mute, mute it. Uh, I can actually record directly from inside of Premiere. I wouldn't suggest doing that, but you can. And uh, the next thing I want to point out to you is this little toolbar here. And so these tools, you use these tools to modify and edit your timeline. Um, there's a few of them that are more important than others. Most of the time, you probably just use the selection tool. Most of the time, I use the selection tool and the razor tool and the, the type tool. Um, the other thing that's important to understand is that when I'm in Premiere, if I bring my cursor over an area and right click, I'll get a set of commands as well. So right clicking in different places will bring up different commands, okay? And now let's go back over to our project. So one, we have our project folder. I can click here. And I can view the project different ways. I can view it to list view. I can view it in, uh, in bin view. I can do a freeform view. I'm going to set it back to list view. I can go to my bin files. I can go to my project file. I can also find images by using the media folder. Media browser. Now, I suggest you don't do this. My suggestion is import all of your clips into your project folder on your hard drive first before you import them into Premiere. Um, I can create and organize libraries. I have an info slider, and I also have the ability to apply various types of effects, audio and video effects, and transitions onto my video clips. We're going to learn how to do all that. So I just wanted to come back and spend a little bit more time going over the basics for the editing tab. And you spend a lot of time in the editing tab. Well, you'll spend a lot of time in the other modules as well. Let's stop there. I'm going to go through all the rest in just a second.